Not to brag about anything, but we at Titty Nope know quite a lot about flying. In today's video, we take you through mind-blowing facts about planes to ease your anxiety. Number 8. Airplane Window Shape You may have not paid attention to the round shape of windows on an airplane versus the hard-cornered windows at home, but the reason behind this is quite interesting. Over many years, the shape of the fuselage of planes have evolved, and especially its windows. It started with cylindrical fuselages and rectangular windows with hard corners. Even though the cylindrical aircraft bodies helped in increasing the speed of flight, three planes in 1953 fell apart in air, killing 43 people, and the reason for the crashes were simply the windows. Having hard corners on windows meant more pressure was concentrated on those weak spots, making it very easy to collapse. By making the corners rounded, the pressure is spread over the surface, reducing the likelihood of them collapsing. Circular shapes are even more resistant to extreme pressure differences during flight. Next time you fly, don't forget to take the window seat. Number 7. Secret Hole in Airplane Windows Look very closely at your window, and you will notice a tiny yet scary hole on the window pane. Is this dangerous? It would be if this hole didn't exist. At an average cruise altitude of 36,000 feet, the pressure is impossibly unbearable by the human body, and if people were exposed to it, I will let that for you to imagine. To deal with this significant change in pressure, the cabin of the airplane is pressurized to become much greater than the pressure of the outside surrounding air. This process is very good for the passengers, but not so good for the plane itself. The holes in the window help release a little pressure strain from the airplane, and they are known as breather holes or bleed holes. In other words, they help the plane breathe by releasing some pressure. Number 6. Planes have ashtrays. Smoking is strictly not allowed and can expose you to legal actions. Does this sound familiar to you? Even though smoking is forbidden on airplanes, Absent-minded passengers still break the law, and in case they plan to smoke, the ashtray is there to dispose the cigarette instead of throwing it in a trash can and cause a cabin fire. Fun fact, having an ashtray on board is a requirement from the Federal Aviation Authority to eliminate cabin fires. Number 5. Flying with one engine Sometimes one engine on a plane stops working, and the pilots turn it on again without you even noticing. Did you know about this before? Probably not. Keep an eye on the engines. Surprisingly, twin-engine aircraft are certified to fly on one engine if the other engine stopped working. This is known as the Extended Twin Engine Operations Ratings, or ETOPS. The ETOPS rating dictates the amount of time an airplane can fly with one engine, while the other is not functional. To be ETOPS certified, the aircraft manufacturer must comply with a set of rules, and so does the airline. For the manufacturer, they must demonstrate that the plane can fly and is manageable flying on one engine. For the airline, they must verify that they have a flight crew that is trained under such circumstances and are able to perform the required troubleshooting as needed. The higher the ETOPS rating, the longer the plane is expected to last. Number 4. Airplane Toilet Waste If you think planes dump toilet waste in the sky, then you are probably not right. But it happened before. However, it's not the topic of today's video. When you flush the toilet waste, a blue liquid is injected automatically and is used as a catalyst to separate solid waste from liquid waste. This waste is then stored in a tank that is at the rear side of the plane. The size of the tank that stores the waste is dependent on the size of the plane. For example, an Airbus A380, the largest commercial plane, carries four tanks that can hold an average of 554 gallons of waste. Once the plane lands, it is then the airport's responsibility to empty the contents of the tank into carts or trailers. This waste is then emptied into drains that finally carry the waste to the same sewage that all our waste flows into. Number 3. Opening an airplane door during a flight Nowadays, airplanes can fly at 36,000 feet of altitude. The higher the altitude, the lesser the pressure outside the plane and the lesser the oxygen that is available for life. Therefore, the cabin of the plane is pressurized to mimic the pressure at around 8,000 feet, at which our human body functions normally with the existing oxygen levels in the air. This means there is a huge difference in pressure between the inside of the plane and the outside surrounding air. Approximately every inch of the plane is experiencing 8 pounds of pressure on its surface area, and so does the door of the plane. The inner edge of the door is larger than the outer edge, acting just like a cork that is used to seal bottles, and with this difference in pressure, it's impossible to let go. Number 2. Red and Green Lights on Airplane Wings The red and green lights on aircraft wings are known as position lights, 
you will notice that the red light is always on the left wing and the green light is always on the right wing. As the name position lights depict, they are used to determine the aircraft position and direction. The position lights are always on during the night and even during the day. Number 1. Oxygen Masks Capacity Don't take your oxygen masks for granted. They only last for 15 minutes on average. Oxygen masks deploy automatically during a loss of pressure in the airplane cabin. This can happen for any reason, even simply if the pipes that pump air into the aircraft have malfunctioned suddenly. Above 10,000 feet, the air has very, very little oxygen in it, making it impossible for passengers to breathe. Without oxygen, you feel dizzy and can lose consciousness and sometimes in severe cases even cause death. But don't worry, these 15 minutes are enough to allow the airplane to descend to altitudes of 8,000 to 10,000 feet, where oxygen levels are bearable again. The good fact is that the Federal Aviation Authority, or FAA, had published reports showing that the oxygen masks in the airplane have been used only 2,800 times over an average 40-year period. Doing the math, this is not many times, but again, not to be taken for granted. Which of these facts surprised you the most? Let us know in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and turn the post notifications on to receive the latest from Tiddynope.